Next morning, I finally tracked the specials down to Two Tone HQ, home of the hits. Next to the poodle parlor, the note said. At last, a chance to meet the board of directors of the fastest growing independent record label in the country. This is where the assault on the nation's airwaves was planned with a unique mix of punk and reggae. Can this be the front office of the do-it-yourself chartbuster factory? This is it. This is... I mean, this is where we've got an office in London that does all the live work and that, but the... all the, uh, This is where sort of two-tone... This, this, this is, is my desk. <laughs> 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 Hang on, I'm showing them around the office. <laughs> Here we have the checkbooks. The receipts. Uh, the con oh, hang on. The contracts. <laughs> I think this is our Burnley Road contract. <laughs> <laughs> no, we've got loads of contracts there. <laughs> Chrysalis contract. I like this contract. <laughs> <laughs> not worth much, not worth the penny. <laughs> Uh, what else have we got? Oh, this is our A and R department. <laughs> These are the tapes that people send me. As you see, we've been inundated. <laughs> <laughs> This is what we listened to, a man. This is how the beat came to fame. Uh, what else is there in the office? Oh yeah, and this is the uh, wardrobe department. <laughs> All second hand gear, very nice too. Nice piece of mohair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright then, what's the rude boy? I'm a rude boy. I'm a rude boy. I'm a rude boy. <laughs> uh, I will answer your question. A rude boy is just a rugged ruffian. <laughs> ruffian at that time, yourself, right? They get into trouble. It's just like some uh, young boy over here now, England. Um, they get into trouble breaking into houses and, you know, just vandalizing places and setting places on fire. Well, when they get to about, say, 16, and they're doing little things a bit heavier than that, that's the rude boys, or you could class rude boys in the way of skinheads now, but not the skinheads go around now fighting, but the rude boys, they didn't you have to fight unless there was something to fight about. But um, the, the way of dressing was short trousers, and short sleeve shirt or just a shirt or t shirt or whatever. Or jeans, short jeans. Shoes back I broke down. <laughs> Red socks. Just walking down the street doing bugger all. <laughs> yeah. I think that's something that's put across in quite a lot of your songs though, isn't it? Like to keep out of trouble a bit, you know. I mean, what about message to Rudy? I mean, is there any particular reason that you wanted to cover that? Uh, I mean, a message to you is, is a message to um, all the roadies, you know? That they should keep it a trouble. It's not worth it. In the long run, you just feel it, you know? It's, it's, it's not worth getting into trouble. So it's a message to all the kids who go out and cast trouble. <laughs>
stretch out, be more creative within it, and it also, there is a, a focal point more for the drummer, although the public don't really bother about, about it so much. You can do more, you know, you can do more. Uh, with <laughs> what about some of the lyrics, like, um, it sort of seems to me like it's two things running through, and one of them is sort of very much anti-violence, I mean, sort of mindless violence, like Message to Rudy, and Concrete Jungle, sort of both very against that sort of thing. And what are your feelings about that? Like some of your gigs, like you've had some Hungry jungle, some trouble. Oh, but you know, that, really, really. Yeah, cool. what, what, how did you come to write that? Cool. You know? It's about living in a rough part of town, that's so all. Going out and getting beaten up. <laughs> nice. Now, does that sort of stem from personal experience? Like? Yeah. You write songs about things you, you feel yourself or you, you know. Been There's a couple of others of your, of your songs that sort of um, seem very much against people getting married at a young age. 
Yeah. Like, stupid Mary is too much too young, you know. Mm -hmm. I think maybe Roddy should answer that. <laughs> <laughs> Are you unmarried? My wife will kill me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what's your attitude to the you know, sort of young people getting married sort of before they're 20? You know? Um, well, I just think they should think about it, really. But that that particular song was about, um, it was supposed to be humorous. But obviously it wasn't very funny. Um, <laughs> I don't know, it's just uh, about someone whose girlfriend got married to someone else, so he got jealous and uh, broke a window mm. and ended up in court. And it... just said the reason why he did it, because he thought it was stupid to, to get married young, you know. But if you get married and have a happy time and a good time, then that's just as good as not getting married and having a happy time. If you can get married and have a happy time, then get married and I'm have happy, a happy I'm time. Happy. That's what I'm wrong
Andy Kidman. Where did you get that, my Santa? Take him away. That's about it, really. <laughs> <laughs> right, shall we have a dance? <laughs> right, right uh, this is the original of one of the ones that we do. Next morning, I finally tracked the specials down to Two Tone HQ, home of the hits. Next to the poodle parlour, the note said. At last, a chance to meet the board of directors of the fastest growing independent record label in the country. This is where the assault on the nation's airwaves was planned with a unique mix of punk and reggae. Can this be the front office of the do-it-yourself chartbuster factory? This is it. This is... I mean, this is great. We've got an office in London that does all the live work and that, but the... all the, uh, This is where sort of two-tone... This, this, this is, is my cool. desk. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I'll show you them around the office. <laughs> <laughs> this on the Here we have the checkbooks. The receipts. Um, the com oh, there you go. The contracts. <laughs> I think this is our Burning Roads contract. <laughs> <laughs> No, we've got loads of contracts there. <laughs> Chrysalis contracts. Oh, that looks good. Right? <laughs> They're not worth much. They're not worth the penny. Um, what else have we got? Oh, 
this is our A and R department. <laughs> These are the tapes that people send us. As you see, we've been inundated. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we listened to, man. <laughs> this is how the beat came to fame. Um, what else is there in the office? <laughs> oh, yeah, and this is the uh, wardrobe department. <laughs> All second hand gear, very nice too. Nice piece of mohair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about some of the lyrics? Like, um, it sort of it seems to me that like it's two things running through, and one of them is sort of very much anti violence, I mean, sort of mindless violence, like Message to Rudy. And concrete jungles are both very against that sort of thing. I mean, what are your feelings about that? Like some of your gigs, like you've had some concrete jungle, some trouble. Oh, Ruddy, uh, really. let's paint up. Yeah. Yeah, well, what, how did you come to write that? You know? It's about living in a rough part of town. That's all. Going out, and getting beaten up. <laughs> nice. Now, does that sort of stem from personal experience? Like? Yeah. You write songs about things you, you feel yourself or you, you know, been through. What's a rude boy? I'm a rude boy. <laughs> I'm a rude boy. I'm a rude boy. 
<laughs> Alright, I will answer your question. A rude boy is just a rugged ruffian. <laughs> rough like, rough like that time yourself, right? They get into trouble. It's just like some uh, young boy over here now, England. Um, they're getting into trouble breaking into houses and, you know, just vandalising places and setting places on fire. Well, when they get to about, say, 16, and they're doing little things a bit heavier than that, that's the rude boys, or you could class rude boys in the way of skinheads now, but not the skinheads go around now fighting, but the rude boys, they didn't you have to fight unless there was something to fight about. But um, the, the way of dressing was short trousers and short sleeve shirt or just a shirt or a t-shirt or whatever or jeans, short jeans shoes back I broke down red socks just walking down the street and bugger all <laughs> I think that's something that's put across in quite a lot of your songs though isn't it like to keep out of trouble a bit you know I mean, what about message to Rudy I mean, is there any particular reason that you wanted to cover that uh, I mean, a message to you is, is a message to um, all the roadies, you know, that they should keep out of trouble, because they're not worth it. In the long run, you just feel it, you know, it's, it's not worth getting into trouble. So it's a message to all the kids who go out and cast trouble. <laughs> to you. 